we're just on the upstream side of County O right now on Roy Creek. And this is kind of what the other site looked like prior to restoration. Mostly upstream from this point is where the most of the agriculture is. And some of them can get close to the stream itself, which can be a problem. So we're working with different landowners to try to install wider buffers or other conservation practices to deal with the runoff. This certain section right here is a little more mild erosion. Once you move further upstream, it gets worse and worse. But what we're seeing in here is a lot of invasive species, shrubs, and annual plants that are really keeping the bank unstable. We don't have any good perennial root structure in here. A lot of invasive species are annual plants. So they grow from seed in the spring. And they just don't have that deep root structure. Where a native plant would have a deeper root structure because a lot of them are perennials, are going to hold that bank better. What that does is it causes the bank to be weak and can tip into the stream. And that sediment and phosphorus is carried downstream. Right now we've got basically box elder and buckthorn in here. And that shades the ground out and keeps a lot of the areas bare from other plants from coming in here. So we like to see as a mixture of shrubs and grasses to really hold that bank firm. If you look across the way, you've got a bank that's probably about two, two and a half feet high, nearly vertical. If you can imagine that being six or seven feet high as it is further upstream from here, that's what we're dealing with through a lot of this stretch. And the soil that we're dealing with here isn't native soil either. It's all nutrient-rich topsoil that has been washed down on this valley floor over the past hundred years of farming. So the soil's been sitting here and now it's being washed away and eaten through by the stream and it's just adding more and more pollutants to Big Green Lake. As we saw downstream, we took a lot of the overstory, the canopy, the large trees, to let more light in and regraded the bank. Later this summer, we're going to be doing the same thing to the next thousand feet of stream here. We'll be taking out all these box elders, which are kind of a weedy tree and shade out the ground. We're going to regrade these banks, plant them to grasses and shrubs, to try to stabilize this entire corridor through this farm field. We identified some of these projects through our lake management planning process. We looked at the different priorities in the watershed and found out that Roy Creek was one of the most uh, polluting streams to the lake. And once we knew that, we started looking at what, where is that pollution coming from? And stream banks were one of the things that were identified. So we chose this project and had some money from the federal government and cooperating landowners. So we're going forward with the project later this year.